The U-2S Dragon Lady spy plane is an ultra-high altitude reconnaissance aircraft conducting all-weather day or night surveillance for the US Air Force. This plane carries a significant historical background. It was first flown in August 1955, and five years later, it made news all over the world after a U-2 was shot down by the Soviet Air Defense Forces while performing photographic aerial reconnaissance deep into Soviet airspace. The U-2 has been challenged over the years by both manned and unmanned platforms such as the SR-71. An aircraft designed by Lockheed Martin in the aftermath of the 1960 U-2 shootdown. The SR-71 it was designed to reach an altitude of 90,000 feet, making it invisible and untouchable by air defense systems. However, today, after 60 years, the Dragon Lady still remains in frontline service due to its ability to change surveillance objectives at short notice. Despite some rumors suggesting a possible retirement of the U-2 fleet in 2025, evidence confirms that the US Air Force's intention is to keep the spy plane in service for the foreseeable future. In the fiscal year 2021 budget request, there is evidence of recent contracts for avionics and software upgrades. The aircraft is able to deliver critical imagery and signals intelligence to decision makers throughout all phases of conflict, including peacetime indications and warnings, low intensity conflict, and large scale hostilities. Powered by a single F118-101 engine, which produces over 17,000 pounds of thrust, its long and narrow wings give the U-2S glider-like characteristics and allow it to quickly lift heavy sensor payloads to near space altitudes and keeping them there for extended periods of time and the U-2S Block 10 electrical system upgrade replaced wiring with advanced fiber optic technology and lowered the overall electronic noise to provide a quieter platform for the newest generations of sensors. The most recent upgrade is an avionics text refresh contract awarded in April 2020. Lockheed Martin told Shepard that this work includes a rapid and affordable future sensor capability upgrade.